Good day everyone and welcome to my China, China where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this China and those who have been sending encouraging words and also sending um, questions done. I really appreciate you. And also those who are here to subscribe the to this channel please hit that like button hit that subscribe button we will be glad to have you in our team and today uh, we got a question from one of our subscriber which we'll be discussing about at Ayeni Ola DJ 4452 Say thanks. How can I add gram beams, please? Uh, Ieni, you didn't tell us where you are chatting us from, uh, the state where you are. If you are in Nigeria, please tell us the state. But if you are outside Nigeria, please tell us the country you are chatting us from. So we'll be looking at that shortly. So um, for you to add gram beam, let's assume you you want to add gram beam. Uh, and you are here the first place you need to go is at the the foundation level your ground zero so same principle go to uh, beams when you click on your beams same let's say our ground beam we want to add 230 by 300 let's say we click here whatever you want to do same principle so it automatically as you're adding it as you're adding it you are getting what you want so your ground beams So whatever you are doing, you add your beam at the level of the foundation. That is how you get your ground beams. So, but majorly, what I'm just doing this just to explain something to you. Um, majorly, um, our ground beams is not for pad, pad footings. It is for, let's say, pie or rough. But if you are doing that, this is how you do. Come to that ground zero. Then the next thing, most time, if you have your 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 ground beam, is to add slab. And there's something I want us to pay attention to. So if we are adding to uh, the slab, you see if you if you make it zero. Let me just explain something. If you put zero. If you look carefully, it will start from the ground, and that's not what you want. Let's assume we are doing 300. Let's say 300 mm, above. Let's say 300. So if you do that, it comes. So just what you need to do is uh, 
just do your calculation properly so that update so with that the slab flushes with top of your your beam so this is what you do if the beam the beam is 300 deep our 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 beam our slab is 150 tick so just remove 150 from the depth of the beam use that as your relative level and it will flush with the beam so this is how basically basically this is how you do your ground beams and your slab or whatever you want to do the, depending on the level this is how you handle that typically so um Ayeni, if that answered your question please also uh, chat us up and let us know if it answered your question so that we know how to go about it but typically this is how you do your ground beam so if there's any other thing that wasn't answered please let me know and i'll be glad to explain further about how you add you you insert ground beam this is how you do your ground beam this is how you do your slab on your ground beam, your ground slab this is how you do it majorly you use this type when you are doing rough foundation or you want to do pie or whatever this is how you do your ground beam so i hope this answered your question but if not please stitch chat us let us know and also if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button and also if you have uh, will be will be working with some practical project if you have a practical project that you are in that you are doing with a deadline and you want us to come in please chat us up we'll be glad to uh, be part of that your project so that you can deliver it promptly and speedily so until i come again next time i say remain blessed thanks